Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and I'm your instructor for this course. Now I would be really happy if you visit my homepage and leave me a feedback or drop me a just an hello email. Now let us try to further proceed and in last video we have just got an overview about the SQL Injection commands used for the double query. The idea hole behind is that in the page we are getting some errors but uh, nothing else is being displayed after that. So we want to display the error in such a controlled manner that that error actually gives us some important information. Now for that we have learned so many commands from the previous video and last video we have seen the same exact uh, replica of that almost you can say. So let us try to proceed in this. And of course in this video you have got a new challenge. So let us try to proceed with that. And let me just first get an exit from the last movie. Oops. And let me get an exit. And what I will I can do here is also the command dot t command d dot txt will be available to you in the exercise files for the last movie. And if haven't if this file is not there, just drop me an email. And I'm really sorry for that. If this file is not available, I'll though I make sure that hundred percent is available. By mistake, it can happen, but really. So in this lesson, we have got lesson 12.zip file, which will be helpful for you to challenge and solution for this. So let me first of all move this file again back. I hope you uh, are quite aware of this activity now. We have done it quite a lot of time, uh, that moving of the lesson zip file to our important folder, that is slash what www master. And then we travel back to this folder as usual always. I know this might sound a little bit boring, but yes, we have to master it. We have to do it again and again. That's what actually make us the master of this SQL injection. So let me find if I found that. Yes, this time I found it really easily. And you know, it's becoming tough to me to find, but really I'm mastering it as well. So uh, what we are doing, uh, unzip the file contents of lesson 12.zip file. All the files are being available to us and all the things are being up and running. Make sure that your Apache and Firefox is uh, Apache and MySQL is running and then only you launch up your Firefox. And let me try with the local host and make sure that lesson 12 is out here. Okay, so these images images actually makes the lesson difference from one other. Uh, this is the one thing that I haven't thought of when I was including all these images because you know uh, this whole things remain the same only the back end just change and I'm really not interested to change the theme as well. So let us try to proceed. Let's have a single quote. Okay, I dislike nothing error or anything like that. Let's try to hit double quotes. Okay, this time we have got error. So let me put a backslash and check out what is out there. So it says a double quote is here. Double quote and let's put a hash sign to join up the query. Okay, so it joined up. So nothing else other than the error. So what you can do or what I can suggest to you is uh, double quote and a hash would be good. But in the meantime, I can do and. Let's say I can put the and and I can put a one. So it's true. And also I can put an and and zero. But what interestingly I will be helping you around in this video is this last command. Just wrap up the previous command into the brackets and don't put this colon. I have already discussed in the last videos why you have to do that. So I'll be just copying pasting this and moving back to my this console. Pasting it around here and you will find that it has dumped the security database for us. Also what I can do, I can by the similar way, similar passion, I can change the core query part that is just here. The database, I can put a version here. And in the previous some movies, I have already discussed how we can proceed with the table name and all these others. So I expect you that you can proceed from now. So again, a lesson for your exercise, the double query injection. I hope you are finding this very, very simple because you know, when I started this learning all these processes, lots of blogs and all these things were not very much beneficial because they were just uh, reading some theories. 
Also, uh, reading from one blog to second blog is just like uh, switching from one book to another book. And I always wish someone could have told me all these things in a video manner, just like I'm sitting out there and can upgrade my knowledge. But uh, my bad luck and uh, good luck for you because I haven't found any of such supporting videos and you are finding that. So I expect that at least uh, you can drop me a hello email. So you might be thinking, hey, this man is really crazy out there uh, for seeking a hello. And really I am for all of your supporting emails. So with this, let's end up our video. And I hope you will practice on this lesson and I make sure that from the upcoming lessons, it may it becomes more interesting, more comprehensive and really you become a master on SQL injection. So that's all for this video. And thank you so much for watching.